Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've just come from my previous video, um, I will be shaping up my hair, trying to fix my haircut, um, getting rid of these ends, and trying to shape it into an overall little afro. Um, just a bit of an update, yesterday the salon, I reached out to the salon just to say how I felt about the haircut, um, that too much was cut off, and I did put some pictures of my hair, how it was before, and my hair, um, how it was after. Um, when I was there as well, I did show one picture of how my hair usually looks, um, and they rang me to basically offer for me to come back yesterday or to come back today so they can fix the haircut. Um, I live in Cambridge, which is not close by. It's like it took me about two hours to get to the salon yesterday um, in travel time on public transport. Um, so I I told them I wouldn't be able to come. Plus, my husband and I, you know, we have an off day today together. I don't want to spend time together. And also, there's not much to fix. I mean, you can't really get back the hair that has been cut off. Um, like you can't really fix it is what I mean so you know I can't get back the hair that's been cut off so I thought I would just try this on my own so I responded and said thank you so much for replaying and for offering for me to come back to the salon for you guys to try to fix the haircut however I will be trying to do it on my own um, at home uh, with the help of my husband as well so let's get straight into this okay so I have a shares and I have my handy dandy mirrors so I will be looking at myself here and I'm just trying to nothing is in my hair as I said it is looking like a blowout texture which is exactly what I want so I can see exactly what I'm going to be cutting off uh, my husband was recommending that I put my products in just so it can curl up and I can see but I don't want the same um, issue like yesterday because I did go with it curled up. I don't want to cut off too much. So, well, I'll see because if I don't manage to get it into a good shape, then I will big chop again. Um, so these bits, as I mentioned in my previous video, are the longer bits. So I'm just going to do this like this. Try to pull my hair out. Now, I am not a professional. So I would never advise for you to cut your hair, well, I don't even know what I would advise now to be honest because before I would always say to go to a professional stylist to get your hair trimmed or cut, well, I would tend to trim my hair myself to be honest, but in terms of to get your hair cut, but no, I don't know, I don't know guys, do do whatever works for you, but I, I wouldn't normally cut my own hair on my own. Um, so this bit, I'm going to start... Just this bit, I'm going to cut in a slant, just because I see people doing that on YouTube, just slanting it down, like that. This bit, I'm just going to cut, cut in a downward mo motion, just like that. I'm trying to frame... Baby, can you make sure it's recording? Because when this is gone, this is gone. In terms of the cut. Okay. I think that's looking good so far on this side. You see that? I want to go for a round shape like this. I'm going to pause. I'm going to make sure that this is being recorded because I really want to capture this. Seeing that I'm going to have my new journey. This is a new big chop journey. I need to make sure I capture this. Um, that's how much is off so far. This bit is totally out of place. This bit. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna try to. I think these scissors wanna not working as well as they normally do. Let 
mean, sometimes people say when you give yourself a nice cut, your hair would bounce back and flourish. Um, so let's see what's happening here. This bit is looking all right. I want to have more length in the top just so I could have more styling options. I don't want to cut off too much from the top. Make this random curl over here. We can cut this bit. You guys can see I am not a professional, but I am trying. I mean, I'm not going to go and spend a fortune again. So, what do you guys think so far? Comment below. This is the shape so far um, on this side. And this side just needs cleaning up. So, let's go. I'm just going to pull this out and kind of cut a little bit. I don't want it to look like a So I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Yay! I don't want to cut off too too much to have the same situation again so this is the front this is the back I hope this is not looking crazy right now because I honestly can't see it I am hoping that when I go and deep condition now um, probably I'll do a hot oil treatment as well I'm hoping that it would it would look better so this is the side, this is the back. Camille Rose Naturals um, Algae Renew Deep Conditioner Mask. It has in cocoa and mango butter. So I'll be using this today. This is the first time I'm using this product. I have heard really good reviews on Camille Rose Naturals. Um, Hi everyone, so this is the final product. My hair hasn't completely dried as yet. Um, after I rinsed out the Camille Rose Naturals um, deep conditioner, I, while I was in the shower, I added their leave-in conditioner, which is the Curl Up Moisture Milk. This was really, really good, really, really good. Very moisturizing. It has in rice milk and macadamia oil. And then I went in with the very, very popular, well-known, Camilo's Naturals Curl Maker. Um, this has in marshmallow 
and agave leaf extra. This, I mean, I think my hair speaks for itself in terms of the curl definition with this product. It is unmatched in terms of any product that I've ever used um, while I've been natural. I really love this so far. This is obviously just a first impressions. Um, yeah, so these two products I went in with and I went out of the blow dryer, not blow dryer, the hooded dryer for about 20 minutes, but then I felt the front was still quite straight. So I added more of that um, curl maker in the front, trying to scrunch and get it to curl up a bit more, which I think has look, it looks much better. Swoop this to the side because I think the full bang was looking really crazy. Um, my final results. So I'll show you guys a 360 again. So this is the front, this is the side. I mean, I hope it's not still looking crazy. I haven't actually looked at it myself um, as yet. This is the back. And this is the other side. I know there was a big weird bump action there from the other picks. Um, it kind of went like that and went in like a curve. So, yeah. So, this is going to begin my new natural hair journey. Um, I will sit down and try to think of how I would be um, styling my hair, trying to maximize length retention and making sure that my hair remains healthy as I try to grow it out once again. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of things that I can do, just leave them down below. I would be really grateful if you do because I'm about to <laughs> be open to try um, new things basically try to get my hair back on track so yeah i mean things like hair vitamins i'm even gonna try that um making sure i do a lot of scalp massages and protective styling those are the three things that i think i'm really gonna push for the rest of the year and on this new journey so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye